Hello. Welcome to Aries TV 33. It's your host, Marley Nadine. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys. Um, I finished up the Pisces video through the Zodiac, so we're done with um, basically exploring the Zodiac, the 12 Zodiac signs with you guys. I went through all the Zodiac signs. I went through all the planets. And now we're going to go, um, I did a video um, talking about the elements. Okay, so the elements help you kind of get a better understanding of the signs and how they work with each other and how they're similar to each other and similar to whatever, yada, yada, yada. But there are um, there's another aspect of it. There's so many aspects of astrology, trust me, but there's another aspect that will help you understand a little bit deeper, and these are the functions of the signs. So there's three different functions. There are the cardinal function, there's the fixed function, and then there's the mutable function. So the way that <clears throat> these functions play out, which a lot of people don't know, is they go based off of the seasons. <clears throat> so at the beginning of each season, we have a cardinal sign leading in. Carrying through the middle of the season, we have a fixed sign holding it together. And getting ready for the change into the next season, we have a mutable sign. So um, the cardinal signs are the initiates, uh, the initiates excuse me, of the season. They're the first signs in each season. Um, their qualities are they're pioneering and enterprising. Um, they're impulsive, dynamic, strong, they like to start new things, and they're usually the ones to initiate projects. Um, with the beginning of spring season, it starts with um, Aries, and then it goes to Cancer, which brings in the summer. It goes to Libra, which brings in autumn, and then Capricorn, which brings in winter. Those are the four cardinal signs, and they bring in the beginning of the seasons. They are the starters, they're the trailblazers, and they're the initiatives, so to speak. Okay, and then we go to the fixed signs. The fixed signs um, are the second signs in the month, I mean, or in the season. So like, so say we start with Aries in the spring, and then we go to um, Taurus after Aries in the spring. Um, yada, 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 whatever. Okay, so, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, um, you all, the fixed signs, you guys maintain the seasons. You guys maintain the middle part of the season and keep kind of like that energy fluid and moving in the way that it should. So fixed signs concentrate energy and solidify ideas. Taurus brings in the spring or Taurus holds together the spring. Um, Leo holds together the summer, Scorpio autumn, and Aquarius for winter. Um, they have really great endurance. They're generally stable and focused. Okay, and now we're going to go to the last. Um, it's the mutables. Um, the mutables um, are the final signs of the season, and they, um, the mutable signs prepare for the transition of the next season. So mutable meaning that they can go with the flow. They can be around any element and kind of like change into that kind of element, like, you know, um, I guess... Uh, great qualities of those elements or even bad qualities of those elements for that fact because they are mutable and you know go with the flow kind of thing so um the gifts are of the mutable signs are their communication is their communication and their flexibility um gemini brings in this um gemini closes out the spring season